Hey guys, welcome back with another video of Scrap Mechanic. Today I have some uh, pocket rockets to show you. As you can see, this thing flies really well, and it's yeah, it, it's just so small and it's a dual flight, so you can fly with two people if you want. Um, but let's try to land with this thing on the launch pad right over there. So wait a minute. This thing in the beginning, well, it's pretty difficult to fly, but eventually you'll get the hang of it, so yeah. It's just basically just going up, and when you're in the air, then you turn and shoot wherever you want to go to. So, as you can see, we landed properly on the landing pad. I, um, I have two designs to show you guys. This one is just build it and go. And this one it's uh, a little bit better. It's bug free. So sometimes this thing glitches out and it, uh, the pitch uh, gets stuck. Because yes, this thing can pitch. It, um, it works. So you have um, the, the yaw, or I don't know how you call it, to go sideways. You have these ones, like uh, everybody knows these, with uh, suspensions, and the suspensions are hidden right here, as you can see, and that causes it to, to turn left and right, but also the motor, the electric motor inside, uh, causes it to pitch, and yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, to pitch, and um, yeah, the number one button is obviously just for the rockets. But um, I'll show you the other design I made. This one is a bit better because um, if you press forward on this one, the motor tries to, uh, to push forward and it keeps in a specific position, so it keeps pushing forward, so you need to press backwards after each push, push of forward, so yeah. Um, this one is a little more difficult to fly, but this one resets after every push forward because this motor has an, um, I don't know how you call it, it, it has a little um, resistance and this motor over uh, throws the resistance and it, it, I don't know how to explain it, but this one is a little bit better, I, I'll just show you. and. Yeah, I made it somewhat faster, but yeah. Um, as you can see, this one flies a bit better, and the uh, force is a bit uh, more sensitive, so yeah. The roll, yeah, that, that's not uh, really... Oh, damn. <laughs> Didn't want to do this. Oh, what? what? It glitched out. This one wasn't supposed to do that. Let's see if we can still fly with this thing. Well, it still flies, but... <laughs> well, yeah. I'll just show you guys how to build the other one. Okay. And we're back here so um let's build this one it's really easy you can do it in under a minute if you speed run this but yeah i'll just uh, do it steady and show you guys can uh, just check how this is made so you do first uh you make it five tall so you can put your rockets right under it like this so it touches the um the lift then you can remove this part, then another two blocks, then you can place the two seats on it, like this, and then the motor inside of it, then you can go above it and place the two bearings here to go forward and backwards, then you place the bearings to go left and right, place blocks on them and the suspension glitches 
on this side too and on the upper side you need to make these suspension glitches too and yeah of course the buttons um, I place two so it's uh, sym symmetrical and um, it doesn't uh, overthrow the balance of the thing. I don't know if it's really balanced, but yeah, you know, you get the point. Then you connect everything as shown with these two going to the, the right. So um, if you press right, this thing goes that side. Then these two go to the front of the vehicle and yeah the only thing you need to do is make the rockets a bit more powerful and that's it a pocket rocket in under a minute oh of course <laughs> you need to connect the button though that's it really easy to bolt and in under a minute oh just yeah, this will work, but if you do want to make it a bit more bug-free, so um, the forward-backwards doesn't glitch out sometimes, then you need to make uh, some blocks like... Wait a minute. Then you need to place some blocks here. So you need to touch the, the frame of the little driver sheet and then you place blocks here. So the suspension glitches don't glitch out because this glitch, sometimes this block glitches over this uh, other suspension glitch and then it gets stuck and yeah, it doesn't work uh, anymore then. So that's now fixed and let's get it to fly. And it flies really well now. So um, let's land on the top of the mountain. To show you guys this thing really flies good. Bang, right in the tree. <laughs> oh damn. Oh. You need to practice some time though. Ah, here we go. Right on top of the mountain. You can do a speed test to get on the top of the uh, to get to the ceiling to show you guys how fast this thing is. You need to control it all the way to the ceiling though, because this thing sometimes I don't know the, the suspension glitches they uh, do some weird things though. See, we're already at the ceiling. This thing is just awesome <laughs> and you can uh, com uh, you can fly it with two people so yeah someone else also had this ID um, yeah I already uh, recorded this video but yeah I re recorded because I just wanted to say this SML chief engineer already made something look alike but yeah that's just coincidence because oh no it's just because um yeah he had the same idea and so nobody uh copied anyone so yeah just wanted to point that out <laughs> controlling this thing is not that easy oh what the heck Oh, it just glitched out. Yeah, so this thing isn't 100% bug free. I, I don't know if I can fix this by putting some blocks here. I don't know. Let's try. I think this should fix it a bit. But yeah, it's not a little pocket rocket anymore. Oh, this flies pretty good now 
But yeah, um, if you like this video, like, if you want to see more of Scrap Mechanic, subscribe, and see you later for more content. Bye.